Hello guys, welcome to the next video on HTML tutorial for beginners using HTML5. In this video, we will see how to use links in HTML. So you may have seen links on almost every web page whenever you visit some website. So for example, you want to navigate from one page to another, you click some link and it will redirect you to the other page. So how to add this link? The basic uh, tag which we use for this link is this a tag, okay? Or it's called a link tag. And to add a URL or your file name, what you need is you need to have a reference called href and it's a attribute we want to add. And in these double quotes, you give a URL name or a file name okay and in here you can provide the description of the link right so for example i want to give some uh, website path here for example this is my website path http colon and then the website path you want to uh, you know redirect this page to right and here you can give the description to your uh, link for example easy online converter okay save your code and when you refresh your page you will see this uh, link easy online converter this is the description but behind this when you click this uh, link it will redirect you to the website which we have written in the href okay so like this, you can replace this by google.com or any other website and in here you can give the description. Now you can also add some file name here. So for example, I will create a new HTML file inside my web content folder. So HTML5 and this I will name it as file2 for example .html and I will finish it and this creates my second file. And I will just add some description here, file 2 for example, okay? And I save it. And this is the name of the, my file, file 2, right? So when I want to add here the file name, I can just directly write file2.html, right? Same name as your file name, okay? And here you can write open file 2 and save it and refresh your web page and it says open file 2 and when you click it it's going to open your file 2 like this okay so you can see file2.html is open okay now if this file is present in some folder for example i will create a folder inside my web content folder so create a folder and i can name it as dir and it's going to create a dir folder and i'm going to uh, drag and drop my file to a .html in my dir folder and it's going to transfer it inside my dir folder so now i can give the path dir forward slash file 2 okay save it and refresh your web page and once again open the link and it's going to open the same file right so if you have some uh, directory structure, you can uh, do it something like this, okay? Now, for example, when you click this link, it's going to open your uh, any uh, link or website in the same tab in which you are working on. And for example, you want to open it in some other tab. For example, here you want to, uh, you know, let this website be opened. But when you click this link, you want to open your website in the other tab. How can you do it? You can do it with a attribute called target. And as a target, you give a value underscore blank. Okay. Save it and refresh your page. And when you click this, it's going to open your uh, file2.html in second tab, right? So you can give a target like uh, blank or by default it's self. So this is the default target. And you can also give a target like 
top which opens the linked document in the full body of the window okay now you can also use a link as a bookmark so how you can use it for example you have a web page which has many topics topic 1 2 3 4 and for example 100 topics on a single page and you want to jump from one topic to another topic for example from topic 1 to topic 6 directly uh, when you click a link so how you can do it you can add a paragraph first and inside the paragraph you can add this link tag and as an attribute here href you can give something like hash and the id which you want to give it so for example t5 okay and then the description for example jump to topic 5 okay and same id you just need to give in the heading here for example id is equal to t5 so t5 something like this so this is the reference and this is the id so whenever you click this link it's going to see where this t5 is and it's going to search this id and it's going to jump to this topic here okay so let's save it and refresh our page once again and here we have topic one two three and five is not even visible from here right so when i click jump to topic five is going to jump to topic five here okay so you can use links as a bookmark also so in this way you can use links in html i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now